Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in. Behind me, we've got a brand new 2022 Logan Coach Bullseye Tours Bumper Pull. Now, this Bullseye model is fairly new over the last couple years, but has be become an extremely popular seller for us. In bumper pulls, they do a two and a three horse. They'll do it in the straight load two horse, and then in the goosenecks, they'll do a three and a four horse, two horse straight load, and then they started incorporating some stock combos. So, Again, it's a really great price point, really well equipped, really well set up model that again, we've been carrying quite a bit of and having really good luck getting them sold here. So we'll walk you through, we don't, we don't order them as just straight stock options. We usually like to put a couple things on them. So we'll walk you through as we do that. Let's take a look at the drawing and I'll point out some specs of just basically how this trailer is set up. So it's seven foot wide, uh, excuse me, seven foot tall, that's standard height. On the width, we're six nine, so we don't have any wheel wells. And then we're a touch over 13 foot on the actual box itself. Now, when we add the tongue into it, it adds a little bit of length to this trailer, but you're looking right about 16 feet nose to tail on this trailer itself. And on, on these Logans, you're looking at a galvanized steel frame with aluminum body. And why that's important is because it's a galvanized steel frame, you have a lifetime corrosion warranty being the first owner on it. And then the aluminum sides lighten it up, give it that aluminum finished trailer look to it, a sleek design as far as that's concerned, and then it lightens it up as well. But let's take a look at this. So one of the very first things is you just have a manual crank jack, nothing too exciting and extreme there. Uh, it's real easy to crank up and down. You do have a two and five sixteenths ball as far as what you're gonna need to actually tow this trailer itself. And I want you to kind of notice as we're looking at this tongue up here, you're gonna notice some vortex lining. It's like a bed liner. They incorporate it throughout the trailer. I'll show you where, where they use it. It's great stuff, it's really durable. On the nose itself, you got the diamond plate because let's be honest, you're probably gonna kick some rocks up as far as that's concerned when you're actually pulling this trailer, it kind of protects that, that skin and that first you know couple feet up on the trailer itself. Now, if you're familiar with Logan's brands or their models, the entry level is a crossfire. And then it goes bullseye. Now, where it really separates itself is the very first thing is these doors. I'll show you on the drop windows but also here on the tack door. If you notice, it's square at the top. There's a lot of framework to this door that's actually built at the factory. It's not a prefab door. The Crossfire actually has a prefab door, and the way to tell is it's rounded at the top. So if it's square at the top, it's built at the factory. So again, a lot of framework. These are items we're gonna open and close every time we utilize this trailer. You've got a brush tray on the door for kind of those smaller miscellaneous items you know, brushes, fly spray bottles, anything like that. And then on this door, if you wanted to put a door organizer, you have that capability. It is kind of a blank little canvas right there that you can do that on, on there. Then you have a swing out saddle rack. Since it's a two horse, you get the two pads. There's four location lo spots for these pads itself. So we can move them if we'd like, space them out. Or if you want to add more, you can do that too. We can get you one more, two more, whatever you'd like but swings out, real convenient to use there, and then just swings in. On the partition wall, you've got a four-tier blanket pole rack. It snaps back against the partition wall to secure it in place, but it does swing out. Really easy to be able to grab those blankets or pads from right here as well, from ground level. One thing we like to add on is that corner water tank, because let's be honest, it is really handy to be able to carry some water from home. You know, if you have a finicky horse that only likes water from home, or if you get, you know, if you're traveling during the hot summer months, you know, potential traffic where you can just fill up a bucket. Uh, sometimes you go to events, maybe you don't get there, you know, in time to where you're parked a long ways away from a hydrant. To be able to just fill buckets right here is, is very convenient as far as that's concerned. And then you've got your bridle hooks with carpet behind that. So one, we don't have that tack rubbing against a metal surface, metal surface itself. Uh, and also it deadens that noise behind 
that wall. Because you got to think about it, our horse is on the other side of that wall right there. And as you're traveling, you know, it can actually create a lot of noise on that back side of it. So really well equipped. Again, these, these HD doors are the big thing. I mean, you know, from that standpoint, if that is a, an item you're gonna open and close every time, it's a nice solid seal to it and shut to it. To where again, those prefab doors, uh, it, the best way to explain it is, it's like a piece of paper in your hand. You actually need to, in my opinion, lock those prefab doors, even in transit, just because the right bump will get them to pop open. There's a little bit of give. They're just not as stout as these are here. Now the other thing on the bullseye model is you get bus windows to where on the crossfire you're just going to have an air gap with plexiglass. This way you've actually got some a uh, little bit more airflow by having these windows on there. You're also going to have an LED load light on the side. You're going to have that on each side of the trailer and the rear. So we'll show you those as we're walking through this. And then on our wheels we have two 35 pound rubber torsion axles and then we upgraded to these aluminum wheels. It just gives it a lot better look. And over time, those steel wheels, what happens is, is that powder coating or that paint will chip and then it'll cause a, a superficial rust. And honestly, they're just ugly. <laughs> um, you know, when we, when we bring a used trailer in, if that's the case and we're replacing tires, we'll go ahead and try to sand them down a little bit, spray paint it, and then we're gonna put a new set of tires on it. It just is amazing the difference in the look of the trailer. And these aluminum wheels, you just don't have to worry about that as much. They're always gonna have that look to them. Now at the rear of the trailer, you're gonna have dual doors, they're independent. The right-hand door is gonna have a weather strip on it just to kind of cover up that little bit of a gap that we have there between the two doors. But the nice thing about these trailers are is you know, if you're wanting to use this for other things, I mean, you can haul some livestock in here if you need to, or if you also want to throw like a ramp on it and haul like a four wheeler, you know, those type of things can be done. So we have a padded divider here. And this very, since we have just the one divider in here, since it's a two horse, if you notice, when you go to swing that over to the wall, I can't shut the rear doors right now with the way it's set. I would basically have to have the divider stop right about here. And that really doesn't give you a whole lot of stall space. So on these back ones here, and if it was a three horse, it'd be the rear one or in the second horse. Uh, as far as this type of setup, it shrinks down, telescopes down, I can snap it against the wall, and then I can shut our rear gates or our rear doors there. So now we have a little bit bigger, uh, more inviting space. Again, if you're hauling some livestock, maybe you want to give a horse a little bit more room. Or again, if you're hauling a toy, get that out of the way. If you want to remove this, it's really simple. There's just a couple pins right up here lifted out. It might be a two-person job just because of the length and the awkwardness of it. It's really not that heavy. But if you wanted to, it's easy to pull out and then put back into place. Now, if you notice, throughout this stall area we have that vortex lining so on the partition wall our kick wall the upright post even on the rear doors you can see that so again that stuff is extremely durable i think it also deadens a lot of the noise we don't get as much echo in these trailers as far as that's concerned you have two led lights they're on a switch so are those exterior lights i showed you they're on the back post but again, really convenient to be able to have some lighting. We understand you're gonna be loading, unloading at dark at some point. It's nice to have that. Now we have an aluminum sheeted roof, but I want you to notice that there is a little bit of a bow to it. So where this trailer fits, kind of price point out there on the market, a lot of the competitors will have a flat roof. And why that's important is, by having a little bit of an arch or radius to that, it's gonna be able to push that moisture off. Here in Colorado, when we get that snow, it melts, let's get it away from those roof seals. You will have to replace roof seals on trailers. That's just the way it is, no matter what manufacturer it is. But now we don't have to do it as frequent. So those competitors, when we get those trailers in on trade, normally the trailer could be four, maybe five years old, and we're re already redoing roof seals. So it will have to be doing, you'll have to do it eventually, but maybe not as frequent or as soon. Uh, so that does help, again, by getting that moisture away from it itself. 
but a nice setup in here. I want to show you also, so this one here is a wood floor. We can option these trailers, these bullseyes with an aluminum floor. This one here is the wood floor, but you'll notice the vortex lining. So once again, I'm not going to say you're not going to have to replace a board ever or replace some boards, but boy, the, the, I guess the timing of that is going to be drastically changed. That vortex lining is really going to protect it. So I don't think you're going to have to do it near as frequently or near as soon because of that. Now, one of the other things when we're looking at that, that crossfire model is the drop windows. You're going to have the drop windows, but they're going to be prefab again, like that tack door. They're going to be a lot lighter weight, a lot different setup as far as the jail bars go itself. Again, here we have framework. So these are gonna be a lot stouter. Those prefab windows, I mean, are literally, again, like a piece of paper in your hand. I can just grab a window and a door and do this. So let's think about how many times we're gonna open and close these. If you accidentally leave one of these down or something hits it, you've got a ch chance of really doing some damage and then probably having to replace an actual window. But here, you've got the jail bars that fold down. They're real heavy duty. You've got the screens, these can be removed. If you have somebody that likes to maybe tear some stuff up, just Velcro off and slide them off. But very, very simple to use. Nice solid seal on these, the welded hinges on them. And then again, they've got this cheater bar, which is fantastic. If you're a little bit vertically challenged, you know, that's a pretty good reach up there to hit that. So we're down here, all we have to do is pull that bar so it's really easy to use and drop down. These can be locked. Same key as on the tack door. So you can lock this up on the back. You'd have to put paddle locks on there, but you can seal this trailer up. This one's the white sheeting. That's standard. So at no additional charge, you can go to champagne, charcoal metallic, silver. If you want to go with a black sheeted trailer, that is an upcharge, whether it's the black, kind of polish or the matte, there is an upcharge on black. But that standard with the aluminum, it just ties in really well and really dresses up nicely with the aluminum wheels. So again, we like to add on quite a few little things to these just to kind of, it's nice to have those options. They're, they're very useful. You're gonna enjoy them. I'm gonna give you the stock number on this trailer. In case you're interested, it is a 2022 Logan Coach Bullseye two horse bumper pull. That stock number is 5N220277. So, again, a great little runaround trailer, a great starter trailer, or if you're just looking for a really nicely well equipped two horse bumper pull, these things have become extremely popular sellers for us. So, give us a call. Anybody on the sales team can help you out. That number is 303 684. 3400. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.